Hello, boys and girls. All right, today we're going to learn how to log into Quaver. So you're going to click on um, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or however you get onto your internet. And then you're going to go to the Quaver Music website. So it's Quaver music.com there it is and you're going to click enter now you're going to click this button that says log in now today we're going to log in as rj rj is my son he is in the second grade so we're going to be using rj's um, username for ar so Everybody at Stewart Place is logged into Quaver, has a login for Quaver. I put y'all all in there so that I can get your individual responses, which is really great for me to know that you're doing the activities. So right here, you're going to put in your AR pass, your AR username. Some of you might be in kinder or pre-K and you've never logged into AR. That's okay. Your AR username is the first letter of your first name, then the first four letters of your last name. So RJ's name is RJ Vicencio. So it's R, then V-I-C-E, then it is his birth month and his birthday. He was born on April the 10th, so 0410. Then he, that is his username and his password. This is everybody's password. Um, everybody's password is SP. You're going to put SP and then you're going to put your ID number. So, so this is the number that you log in for iStation. And I know everybody's doing iStation now. And this is also the number that you use for getting your lunch um, in the cafeteria when we were at school. So it's just your five digit identification number. For my purposes, I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five, but you will put your actual identification number. Now, once you've inputted your password and your username, you're going to put your Quaver code. So we want to use RJ's actual, this is RJ's his actual username, not one the password. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to put in the Quaver code. If you don't have the Quaver code, it's not going to work for you. So it's super, super important that you know what your code is. And I will have those out, but I'm also going to tell you right now what your Quaver code is for our littles. So that would be pre-K all the way to second grade, your Quaver code is RCY4H. And then you can enter. And ta-da, we go to the student dashboard. Now that is for our little ones, for our big ones, which is third grade through fifth grade. I'm gonna log out here. So I don't have anybody in my household that is of that age, but I'm going to use one of our other students and I'm going to put it in here. These are, this is one of the students that I inputted. I am going to keep her password so you cannot see, but I'm going to type SP. You have to put the SP in front or it will not work. So SP and then the student ID number. And again, it's that five digit number that you use to log into AR or iStation. Now the Quaver code for the older students is 6BP. M D. 
and I will make sure that that gets out to you. And da da. We're not going to say that pace, password. So this is for our older students. Now, on older or younger, you can see that it looks exactly the same. The only difference between the older and the youngers are the assignments. For our older kids, I have the Kid Sticks tutorials. Um, this is what we were doing. And I actually put the Kid Sticks tutorial in the younger elementary too, just this activity, because for those first graders and second graders that want to do this activity. Now this is Stomp, the group Stomp, and they do an amazing job um, demonstrating playing on regular household items that you might have, like trash cans and bins. And then this is our uh, tutorial that I did for El Zoom Zoom de las Abejas. And you can go through this whole tutorial and then you get to perform it all by yourself. And you record it, you can upload your recording and send it to me and I will be able to see your smiling faces and see you performing your kid sticks. So that is how this works. That is if you want to do an assignment. If you want to just play around, there's student interactives. This is just fun for you if you're in uh, third, fourth, and fifth grade and you still have a recorder at home, which a, over half of my third graders should have recorders. These are all the recorder songs. And I will include a recorder tutorial coming up pretty soon and show you how to play and we'll play some of these songs together and I'll slow them down so that you can, um, so that you can get it. There's also creatives and again, the, the student interactives and the create creatives and the quaver books, these are all on both the older and the younger, um, music classes. So you can find all that information there. So have fun with it. And I hope that you log into Quaver and discover some new wonderful ways to make music. Thank you and goodbye.